Hi folks, welcome back. I got an electronics experiment for you here today. My first time on the electronics and I don't know a lot about electronics either so I'm warning you ahead of time. But uh, I ordered some, uh, some parts and these are little variable capacitors of different uh, sizes. I've got a little pack of those and then I've got some reed switches here, magnetic reed switches. I got 15 of those. Broke one of them already. And then I've got some uh, some of those new inductors that are out. And I got 280 of them, 28 different sizes, 10 of each one for I don't know, 10, 12 bucks or something. They're they're real cheap. So uh, anyway. I've got I bought those three things and then I also got some of these little um, ferrite uh, noise suppressors that you put on uh, on uh, computer lines and sh stuff like that to keep the noise down and uh, the reason I got these is because they're like a toroid except they're real wide like this is the same this is a toroid and these are two halves of a toroid really except it's a really wide toroid and uh, so that allows you to, to wind windings two different ways on it and so like this coil right here I've wound windings on both halves of it and then closed it up so I've got the windings going around this direction and you, you, don't, you can't do that on one of these unless you wind it on this narrow little ledge running around it and then I've, on the, I've got another one of these coils over here that I've wound around the outside of it uh, around it this way and uh, you can't see the, the, the uh, coil on it because I got it covered with tape but anyway so what I've what I've got here is a little circuit that I built and this is a circuit by uh, George uh, Chiano Takas and uh, what's really cool about this circuit is it's an oscillating circuit and it's a modification of uh, like the uh, lid motors um, oscillating circuit that he made with a reed uh, switch this is a, uh, a another one of those except it's even better and um, so anyway my reed switch is inside of this coil in the middle here and it's connected to one lead of a of a uh, LED and uh, and then the other the other end of it's connected to this coil and then that comes over and connects here and then so basically what I've got is a series loop here the reed switch the LED the coil and this uh, capacitor right here are all in a series loop and then I've got a battery and the capacitor hooked in parallel over here and this is a 10 volt cap and this is a 9 volt battery that was it's real old and it's not a rechargeable battery but it's actually recharging in this circuit right here and um, and that's one of the things that this this circuit does now I don't have it exactly uh, configured the way he does because he's, he's not showing everything on his on his circuit but um, so but anyway what I noticed was that uh, this battery was down to about 3.75 volts when I measured it before I used it okay and then of course when I put it under load it, it drops down to two point something volts and but with this capacitor hooked in here it actually charges up higher than it was whenever I used it so let me, let me show you this is a magnet here and you, you have to put this on on the back of the coil there and you see how it lights the LED up and now the voltage dropped down to 2.10 and it's slowly dropping now on George's circuit his battery doesn't even drop down it stays it stays up a uh, full charge because it's it's pulling energy out and then recharging or it, putting it right back in real fast and it's doing that real fast so it's not it's not discharging the battery and that's what I like about this because it, you can use just one battery and uh, as long as it'll handle the amps that you need and it doesn't discharge on you you've got a, a, a source the power that will last incredibly long time because it's not discharging it should last forever so anyway now we can see it's down to 
to and let's take the magnet back off so that, and you see now it it climbs back up it's a 3.7 right there and I'm going to pull this cap off of here real fast okay so now we got we got the battery and now see how it slowed how it slowed down now it's just on the the uh, rebound voltage that's getting out of it but see now there's right there is where it started the first time and it's it's slowly rebounding a little more on this but I had this this was almost up to six volts and you know that's not going to rebound all the way back up up to six volts on that so this is definitely uh, uh, helping to recharge that battery back up something to do with this coil right here pulling in energy out of the uh, atmosphere or something and uh, and it's loop, looping it all around so uh, anyway I wanted to show you that and now I'm going to show you some uh, some pictures of, of George's and I'll include the link to his video so you, so that you can watch uh, watch what he's doing now this is just the very first this is this the oscillator stage and I'm not sure that I even got it oscillating yet but um, there's also a second stage a high voltage stage uh, where he where he runs uh, uh, unmodified uh, 120 volt light bulbs and stuff all right, so I'll be back in a second. All right, this first picture here is the uh, schematic for the oscillator circuit. And you can see how simple it is, although I don't think he's quite showing us everything on this. Uh, because in the next video, or the next slide, you can see the, uh, see the circuit and you can see the coil. And it looks like there's two windings on the, on the coil there and it also looks like there might be a, a steel washer next to the coil to attract uh, that magnet on there and now in this screenshot uh, George is using a radio to uh, demonstrate that the circuit is oscillating because you can hear the uh, the oscillations over the uh, over the radio it is not using a scope so uh, anyway, and then in the next or slide, it's a um, there's a schematic of the uh, high voltage side of the circuit, and he's using a uh, a big supercapacitor with a uh, bridge diode mounted on one side of it, and uh, you can see that schematic there in in that slide. Now in this screenshot here, George takes out the big uh, electrolytic capacitor and bridge diode and replaces the coil on the oscillator and uh, also powers a 110 volt, 110, uh, volt um, LED that's uh, been unmodified. So anyway, there's uh, obviously a whole lot of different ways you can uh, configure this. Uh, configure this setup right here and uh, I'll put the link to this video uh, down in this description box so you can watch it it's really fascinating and I think it's got some great potential for uh, preventative discharging circuit because you're you're just cycling the uh, battery so quick that it uh, doesn't discharge one pulse of energy powers the system and the other pulse you know, from the back EMF uh, charges the battery back up so uh, anyway I think that's a this is a pretty amazing uh, little uh, system right here and it's really simple very few electronic components um, I really like it alright I'm back and I've disconnected the uh, the uh, little capacitor in the circuit here so that it wouldn't charge up any further than where the, the battery is at and you can see that the battery now is one volt higher than it was when I started it was at 3.75 and now it's at 4.76 and it's holding right there so it's gained uh, it's gained a whole volt in uh, in power I'm ch charging it up so I'll put the magnet back on there and fire it up again here 
and 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 come up with a, a strong circuit. So what what I want to do is I want to build a big one of these, and I'll just order a big super capacitor. That's the right voltage, and I'll put it in my uh, solar. I'll put it in my solar system to charge up my 12 volt uh, batteries in the solar system, and so I'll have another form of uh, charging. Uh, w with this system, and I'll build a bigger coil. I think the amount of the coil, the size of the coil here, is going to make uh, uh, give you more uh, amps, I believe. And so I can use a 12 volt battery. Georgie's is a 12 volt battery, so there's no reason I can't build one of these uh, inverters for for my uh, solar system out there and have another form of. Uh, of uh, charging it and another uh, inverter that I can use for, for something because this has got a lot of power and because it's high voltage it doesn't draw very much current so uh, I'll have two inverters it looks like and two forms of charging three forms of charging if I build the biocell uh, build that battery pack then I'd have three forms of, uh, of power going into my system so uh, I think that's probably it for this video and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, I guess I didn't have that down there. You can see it. Here's the tank oscillator circuit and here's the uh, multiplier. Uh, it's accumulator circuit actually and I bought some of these little inductor axial inductors and you can turn these uh, There's you have to have two of them the different uh, different values and uh, then you make a loop out of these and you can put an LED in there or whatever and I put this little I put this little capacitor in this loop here too I, I've got this little tiny ceramic in here now but when I took when this wasn't here I put this capacitor across it and this charged it up too anyway there's a you can use uh, these accumulator loops as a as a charging circuit it looks like to me so all right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. All right, I'm back one more time. I wanted to show you here that uh, you can use this little accumulator loop right here to uh, boost my uh, body voltage, too. I cut the little ceramic capacitor off the end of it because I'm going to be using, I'm gonna be using my body to complete the circuit and of course your body is a capacitor too so here let me show you here's here's my body voltage all by itself with dry fingers hold on I can get a little better contact than that I know there's there we go so there's 30 well 30 millivolts roughly okay and now if I take this hold this loop in my hand at the same time and there we are now look at there we're 118 120 it's slowly climbing 121 123 okay 124 125 6 see so it's uh you can see that the accumulator is uh it works it's just two little uh inductors in there different sizes so uh, you can I'll make some jewelry out of that huh then you can get rid of the uh the copper and the zinc plates on your body we'll lighten up the load anyway so uh, anyway I thought I'd show you show you that thanks for watching